I got an, I got another question. So like, I, I think, uh, I think people just fail to, uh, I don't know, allow, allow it to happen. Right. Like we're talking about this idea of accomplishing something. Right. I think what happens is people quit before they get there. Right. So you obviously weren't, you were always Andrew Tate, but you weren't Andrew Tate as we know him today. Right. Mm -hmm. And so people see someone's success and they go, oh man, why do you think people quit before? Because look at I, what you just said about being able to succeed even when you do everything right. I, I know I felt ways in my life when I, I did everything right. I did everything, I did everything right. And I still got shit on and I still got shit on. And I still had setbacks, but I just kept going. Right. Have you ever in your life felt at a point where you're like, where you felt like, damn, I'm getting shit on, even though I know that in my heart, I'm doing the right things. Yeah. Oh, yeah. What were those like? Yeah, completely. And I mean, like I've lost fights or something and you're like, I fucking trained so fucking hard and I was winning every round and I just got caught. And like there's there's times where you feel like completely. What about taking advantage of by like people or like business partners or friends or. Yeah, I mean, that kind of thing's happened as well. But I, I don't I've never seen somebody who loses faith in themselves end up succeeding. You, you have to I keep the it. faith in yourself. Yeah, if the it. matrix allows to, if you allow the matrix attack to convince you to not have faith in yourself, you're never going to make it. Have you ever seen anybody who's done anything fantastic and they didn't have faith in themselves? When they got never. to the top, they go, I, oh, I just don't know. Da -da. Another thing that's interesting is I've never seen anybody do anything on accident. This is what's actually very interesting. When somebody tells me their goals, I ask what their plan is to achieve their goals and they never have one. And it's fucking dumb. Wait, if you, didn't you just say you didn't have any goal, like goals? Like no, no, I don't. But I'm saying if someone has a goal, I yeah. say, well, what's your plan? And I haven't got a plan. I've never seen anyone do anything amazing on accident, is my point. Fiji. So but you just said you, 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 you've gotten so far, you don't have any plans. I, no, no. But it's, it's certainly, I know what I'm supposed to do and I do it day after day. I don't have a pre-presented you know, goal by this date. But okay. I know I want to become stronger, so I just train. Got for it, example. got it. But what I'm saying is I've never seen anybody do anything amazing by accident. So sure. what this extrapolates out, let's, let's use the gym and money, right? Have you ever found a guy in the gym who's in fantastic shape and you said, why are you in such good shape? How'd you get so big? And he goes, oops, just right. happened. I feel like don't you're, know, G. I feel like, you're giving <laughs> us, don't know. I feel like you're giving us a long answer for like hard work pays off. Well, no, but it's, it's, you have to know, you, if you, you're not going to do it accidentally. You have to do the right things every single yeah. day. Okay. And it's the same with money, right? If I meet somebody and they're loaded, they're like, how'd you make so much money? Well, this is what I did. But, um, uh, I did this, I did that, I spoke to this guy, I started this company, da da da. If, when you ask the average guy, do you wanna be rich? He goes, yeah. How are you gonna get rich? Dunno. Yeah, of course. So what, you're just gonna, how'd you get rich? Oops. This just like, it's dumb shit. Like it's just people, people, and it's kind of amazing. The last five years have proved it, but the majority of people are just fucking sleepwalking, bro. They have no plan yeah. to achieve any of their goals. They have no, they don't try very hard at shit. Everything is someone else's fault. And when my ship comes in, don't worry, nah, in a few years, I'm going to be here. How? You know, just, you know, you, you know, you like they're just from amateurs. Why they're do you think they feel that way? Where's that People are from? taught that shit. They're dude. just amateur hour bull. Yeah. They're not professional at life. You have to be a life professional. Do you think there's certain people that are kind of like born like that and they just will never learn? No, I don't. I think it's to a degree, obviously, there's going to be some genetic disposition, but I also think it's a mindset you can adopt as a whole. You have to be hard on yourself. You have to be extremely self-reflective. If I forget my house keys or my car keys, I punish myself for that. If I look for my phone, I can't find it within three minutes. I punish myself. It's very easy to be a professional at the big things if you're a professional at all the small things. I'm never late. I'm always up at the time I said I'm going to be up. I never miss that phone call I'm supposed to miss. I don't misplace my I, I did dumb, normal stuff. And I hang around normal people and they're like, oh, wait, wait, where's my wallet? Wait, wait, wait. Well, oh, wait, oh, one now sec. I'm 10 minutes late. Of course you don't achieve shit. We're